I just have found the first local semantic code search and chat tool that you can basically work with right now. Introducing Code QAI. It's an impressive tool that utilizes cutting edge technology to enable 100% local code search and chat. Now, with features like tree sitter and sentence transformers, it takes code analysis to the next level. Now, this entire GitHub repository is parsed with tree sitter to extract all methods with documentation and save to a local vector database with either sentence transformers or instructor uh, embeddings. Now, the vector database is saved to a file on your system using the database. This is a tool that is created with a bunch of different toolkits and frameworks like Langchain, Olama, Llama CVP, and so many others. Just take a look at this demo video, which shows you how you can input a prompt, like how can you search for a document in your code base? And it gives you a detailed step-by-step -step process as to how you can do this. We can see this over here where you can ask anything about the code base after you have loaded it up. So in this case, it's asking it, how can I search for a document? It processes it through code QAI. And we can see that to search for a document, you can use the get search document API. This API endpoint is likely implemented implemented in the search document handler function and you can see that it tells you the steps that you need to do take that you need to take sorry into executing this prompt over here now you can even go further by asking it different things like how can a document be attached to a parent document so you can go further into asking more detailed questions with your own code base which is also really really cool and it has semantic code search which also gives you prior context to help you with the generation now i know this might be getting repetitive but i really want to emphasize on our private discord as it has been thriving a lot recently there has been a lot of great things coming out of this as you can just see from this like image right here on the screen where we basically just had a new partnership where we are giving out paid subscription plans for data coup and this is an amazing a effortless and accurate approach for data extraction. Now, this is just an example of something that we do and work with. There's multiple different paid subscriptions that are given out to our Discord members for free. You simply become a member and you get access to various different AI tools across the month. And it's on different ranges of AI tools. It's not necessarily just data execution tools, but it's various different types of categories in the field of AI. Now. We don't just end up giving out free subscriptions to AI tools. We also give out various other different things like collaboration opportunities where people can basically work as a team to build applications. We have various networks. We have news outlets. We have resources as well as daily AI inputs. So definitely recommend you check out the Patreon link in the description below as I really wanted to emphasize what you guys are missing out on if you guys are not a part of this. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Code Q AI a little bit more in depth, showcasing how you can install it and just going over some of the features of it. So with that thought, guys, definitely stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Code Q AI, which is a sophisticated semantic code search tool, and it's designed to provide a seamless and efficient experience for any sort of user that is dealing with code. You can implement this into your own command prompt as well as your own chat interface, and you can interact with the tool directly from these two components. It can help you facilitate easy communication, and it puts emphasis on maintaining a a super fast and up-to-date vector database. It ensures that the search is able to reflect the latest changes in the code base. This is something that is really, really useful for a lot of code users or like code developers and people who want to analyze code. So how can you actually get started? Well, you need to make sure that you have Python 3.9 or above installed before you go on to install this, this is one of the requirements. So once you have that fulfilled, you can then move over to the installation method. You just need to run this one step and it's fairly easy. 
copy pipx run and this command over here and paste it into your command prompt and you will be able to start working with this right away you simply just need to then use the start semantic search which is easy as this by typing code q ai search and you can then start working with your code base now you can also configure this so that you can use whatever sort of embeddings and lms that you want you can also use remote models for this case which is really really unique and useful for using code q ai you can also start the chat dialog and also go forward by syncing other sorts of git repositories which is really really great in this case so you can also see that there's many different types of supported languages you have typescript javascript java rust kotlin you have go c c and c hash and i believe that these are some of the languages that will be continuously updated as time goes further. They're going to keep on working on this, so definitely stay tuned. And you can also see that you can also get other sorts of models for Llama CPP. And they can they basically just said that you just need to install Hugging Face Cly and download your desired models from the model hub. And they give you this example as to how you can do that. And it just shows that you can basically have more flexibility with this in terms of using other sorts of models through hugging face so you may be wondering how does this actually function well it's quite simple it first reads through your entire code base and you can see that over here through your vector database or using tree sitter it's a tool that helps understand the structure of your code it is going to identify all methods that have documentations and stores the information into your local database using different types of techniques like sentence transformers or other embedding models, which is something that we took a look at before. Now, this database is containing a compact representation of your code. It's something that will be saved onto your computer for quick access. So when you want to search for a code or chat with your code, CodeQ uses that database to quickly find relevant pieces for the code based on the meaning or context if you prefer chatting with your code locally you can use llama cvp or o llama you just need to specify the model that you want which is something we saw over here where you can use hugging face to do so it's letting you gain the option to use some other sort of model for this case which is really really simple and that's basically how you can basically use or actually understand how it actually works now the great thing about CodeQ AI is that it's built using many reputable frameworks and toolkits like Langchain, you have tree setter, sentence transformers, and so many others. One of its great features is the semantic code search, which basically means that whenever you search something, it's based on the meaning or context of the code rather than the keywords that you input. It's gonna enhance the accuracy as well, as well as the relevance of the search results. You also have a chat interface, which is easy for you to interact with. You have vector database maintenance, which basically allows you for efficient and fat, fast code analysis. This is gonna keep your database up to date with the latest code changes, and it's gonna ensure that the search results are reflective on the current state of the code base. This is through obviously the generation, as well as as you're working with CodeQ AI. It's fully, 100% local supported and you can also use different large language models within OpenAI as well as Azure OpenAI support. It has many of these reputable uh, toolkits and frameworks that you talked about. We saw that you can use Langchain which is a toolkit for working with programming languages. You have TreeSetter which is a parsing system and it can allow for the extraction of different types of extract syntax trees. You also have sentence transformers, which is used for encoding and understanding the semantic meaning of sentences. Instructor embeddings is another framework which is not widely recognized, but it's something that could refer for more of a custom method or approach within CodeQ AI. Now, this is the great thing about this because they have so many libraries and toolkits that are used for additional code analysis as well as processing your code with your code base through CodeQ AI. And that is basically it for today's video on CodeQ AI. I'm definitely going to be doing more demonstrations on the Discord potentially, so definitely stay tuned with that if you want to join. 
definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below so that you can access that. But that's basically it for Code Q AI. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you guys haven't already. Make sure you guys subscribe as well. Turn on the notification bell. Like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.